What's up YouTube, Zavis here, bringing you an end new battle. First off, I gotta apologize for the poor uh, sound quality that this may have during this recording. I'm trying a new place to record, and I'm not sure how it'll work out. So, looking at my opponent's team, I got one thing to say. I love Flareon. It is by far my favorite of the evolutions. Alright, with that said, let's just get straight into the battle. This NU battle is against a smog opponent. Uh, I gotta apologize, I completely forgot to write down his name, so I have no idea who I'm battling here. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with the Shrimp Mire Maldo as he sends out his Seeking. He goes for an Aqua Tail first turn, and it doesn't do as much as I think it would. So I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. I see he's got leftovers, so I'm guessing he's kind of a bulky set here. So uh, he's gonna go for the Toxic, and here I just wanna get my Stealth Rocks up, because I know I'm gonna need them through this battle. So, uh, yeah, next turn, I'm thinking I can uh, switch into my Bambi, my Sauce Buck, just to take the Waterfall, or Aqua Tail, not Waterfall. And, um,. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Mega Horn expecting to switch, however, he stays in, so now I'm gonna get taken out by a Mega Horn, so yeah, bad prediction on my part. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna switch into my Madam and just go straight for the Psychic to take it out. Unfortunately, he's left with just a sliver HP, which means he's gonna be able to get off the Mega Horn against me. Thankfully, I managed to survive with just a sliver of HP too. So, another Psychic's gonna be able to knock him out, and that's the end of Seeking. Next, he's gonna send out his Kadabra, and I'm gonna switch out here. Gonna go into my tank at my mill tank, and he's gonna go for the Psychic, which is gonna do quite a bit, but I am specially defensive, so it's not gonna be that bad. But here, my special defense falls, so I'm gonna need to switch out. So, I'm gonna go into my Golurk, expecting a Focus Blast or Hidden Power, or not Focus Blast, I remembered that they don't get Focus Blast, but Hidden Power Fighting. Here I'm expecting the uh, Shadow Ball, so I switched to my Kanga and Roo, so now I'm just kind of playing a mind game here. And here I'm just kind of, I kind of expected him to switch out, so um, I just go for the turn knowing that it's going to hit most of his party. He's going to send out his Armaldo, and I'm just going to go for a substitute, thinking a Focus Punch should do a lot of damage. So here comes the Stealth Rocks, and now I'm just going to go for my Focus Punch, and surprisingly, it's not going to do as much as I'd like it to. Um, he's gonna go for the X-Scissor, and that's gonna break my sub, so, yeah, Focus Punch hits, and it does a good amount, but not as much as I'd like. And here, I'm not gonna be able to get up another one, so I'm gonna go for a uh, Sucker Punch, just to see how much that'll do, and that does way less. It really should have done more. But then again, our um, Maldo is a bulky, uh, physically defensive Pokemon, I know, I have one. So here, I'm just gonna switch out, go to my Golurk, thinking that it'll probably be the best matchup I've got so far. He goes for the Rapid Spin, and thankfully, I block it. I mean, that was completely unintentional. So, I'm gonna, next turn, I'm not gonna bother with the Rock Polish, I'm just gonna go straight for the Stone Edge and knock out. He's gonna say not his Kangaskhan, and I know that these things usually have Scrappy, I think mine does too. So I'm gonna switch out into my uh, Shrimp just to take the hit, and he goes for Return. I would've thought he'd gone for Fake Out. And that does a little bit, I'm thinking I may be able to survive one more. But after toxic damage, that's just not going to happen. He gets to return and it's going to knock me out. So this next turn, I'm thinking, you know, I could probably take... Golurk is, uh, despite being really uh, hitting hard, it's actually pretty tanky. Unfortunately, it takes me out with one return, and I'm thinking, okay, this thing's got to be banded. It has to be. So I send up my madam, and thankfully she survives the rocks. And I actually looked at her HP and did the calcs, and she could survive one round of rocks. And here, I'm going to have to use that now for a Focus Blast, and down goes Kangaskhan. Thankfully, it went down in one hit. He sends out his Gadabra next, and I'm just going to keep going for the Focus Blast, because I am choice. But this is going to take out any kind of uh, Sash it had, and I get the Special Defense drop, but it doesn't really matter, because this is my only um, Special Attacking Sweeper. So, next turn, I'm going to switch to my Kanga and Rue, and I'm going to go for... He knows I've got the Sucker Punch, but I'm going to keep going for it. He goes for the Calm Mind. And here, uh, I'm just going to keep going for Sucker Punches. I actually have a strategy when it comes to Sucker Punch and people who try and outstall it. Most of my Pokemon that I have run Sucker Punch also run Substitute. So I'll use a few Sucker Punches and always leave myself with one or two. And once I'm convinced the opponent will think I'm going to keep going until I run out, then I'll go for a Substitute. Anyway, he sends out his Zebstrika now, and he's going to go for Thunderbolt, which is going to hit pretty hard. And based off that damage, I'd have to say that it's probably Specs. And I thankfully survive, I'm gonna go for return, and it almost knocks him out. So I know that a Sucker Punch is gonna be enough to KO. So, down it goes, and he's gonna send out his last Pokemon, I believe, his Flareon, his Red 13. And I really don't want to take this thing out, because I love Flareons. 
So I go for the Sucker Punch, expecting it to be maybe a uh, Guts Boosting set, but I don't see that's the case. It's probably a stalling set, maybe especially defensive. So I'm going to go for the return. It's going to one-hit KO, and that's the end of that.